Gavin, okay, you know what? I'm done. Screw this. We should get started on our, uh, our project. Do you have any cards, card related objects, something? I do have this booklet of cards. A booklet? What is this? A booklet of cards? Are you serious? What the heck is this? Alright, fine. See the red one? Watch. <gasps> It's okay. That's that's how I get my cards actually nowadays. Let's go. All right. So I think we should put the cards away. Um, the first magic trick was in 2700 BCE, and it was a cup symbol routine. I also didn't understand how the little balls could read the human mind. You heard me. Read the human brain. My left, center, my right. Think of one of the cups. It's done. Which were you thinking of? I was thinking of this cup. Interesting, because the ball went from here over to the cup. <laughs> you were thinking of. Yeah! So what is magic? One definition says that it's the aesthetic exploration of mystery. And another, another one, one says it's the art of changing consciousness in physical reality according to will. So the discovery of witchcraft was a book written in 1584, and it debunked the legend of witchery because many people were being falsely executed at that time. People actually thought that magicians were witches. So Jean Robert Houdin is the man known as the father of modern magic. He changed the stage from a circus to a stage setting. He also is inspiration for the famous escapologist Harry Houdini. So in 1902, a man named S.W. Erdnes wrote a book called Expert at the Card Table. In it, he described a bunch of different slides to use at a card table for like gambling and such. Uh, it's still used today, although the true identity of S.W. Erdnes hasn't been figured out. So in 1956, there was a magician named J.B. Bobo, and he wrote a book called Modern Coin Magic, and some people refer to it as the uh, Bible and coin magic. Uh, it's very, very good, still in use today. Uh, uh, uh. So let's take a quick magic break. Uh, actually watch this. I'm gonna tear a little corner off, all right? You see that? Watch. I'm gonna try to try to balance that on the edge. You see that right there? If you give it a little second, you can get it to have to go. to go back to back with these card tricks. What? All right, let's go for real. Alright, now. So I'm gonna try to show you all a trick using a sharpie. And it's like a little black dot. Well, not really. It's like a portal. If you ever seen, like, you know, Tom and Jerry or, yeah, like Looney Tunes, basically what they'll do is they'll, like, throw a dot into a wall and then they'll run into it and they, like, escape. So we're gonna try to use. So there are lots of different types of magic out there, but in my opinion, there are only about 11 main types. So they have stage magic, parlor magic, pickpocket, mentalism, mathemagic, children's, bizarre, shock, and comedy. So stage magic is the type of magic that uses large props. Usually they're like more expensive than like cards, for instance. And, and people like David Copperfield are uh, well-known stage magicians. The next type is parlor magic. Parlor magic is like platform magic. It's like another name for it. 
and it's for a medium to large audience. And it's like it's stuff you would do at a nightclub or like a bar. It's uh, semi far but not too far away. So you do need semi big props. Uh, Pen and Teller are a good example of platform slash parlor magicians, but they do have some sage stuff in there. So pickpocketing is another type of magic done by some magicians like Apollo Robbins or Gregory Wilson, but basically he uses heavy side of hand in psychology in order to steal their objects like a watch and then they'll give it back and it's usually also done with comedy uh, or that's at least Gregory Wilson style. When stealing something like this, I, when I draw your attention, there's different ways. During a handshake, you can do this as a bit of a squeeze. So he feels like the watch is still on, but I've got it unfastened. So at this point, it still feels like it's there, but it's easy enough for me at this point, as I'm reaching across. Had you been looking at the kind of there, but Show the video, because we have the slow-mo of it kind of actually fast. happening when he did had it to you been Willie. looking at the way that it I was. I was looking at like the force comes up. over the end of the wrist. Wow, so wow look pocket. how quick and, you did and watch that, him hold it up behind your head. That <laughs> So another type of magic is mentalism, and what it is, the magician reveals personal information about the spectator in the form of a magic trick. Famous magicians are Luke Dancy or Patrick Tate. George Wright Open your eyes. Did you feel anything? Yeah. What did you oh, feel? What? You talk now. <laughs> So my favorite type of magic, the type of magic I do, is called street magic. And what it is, it's kind of a combination of parlor, stage, and uh, close-up. It uses personal everyday objects like playing cards, and it's very visual. It's supposed to be hard-hitting, so it has a big effect. The effect is left in the spectator's mind, and it's fast because when you're busking, you only have like, this fast, or else you lose your piece. You want to see some magic? Yeah, sure. of course. <laughs> Take a card. Oh my, is this going to be on I'm TV? Sure. Don't let me see it. This is going to be on TV. Might be. All right, <laughs> put it back in the deck. Oh my god, this is crazy. You're David Blaine. <laughs> is that your card? Uh, no, no, that it's is not. not our card. No, nope. Interesting. Nope. Interesting. Lift up your shirt. What? What? Who? You. Lift up your shirt. Ah, no! Ah! What the hell? What the what? hell? What the hell? What? What the hell? How did you do that? What? The How did you do that? When did you do that? So the last main types of magic is bizarre and shock magic. Uh, bizarre is usually grouped together with shock magic because they're weird, freaky stuff. Like shock magic is like the stuff you use in circus. And bizarre, or shock magic is known as geek magic, and bizarre magic is something that looks like this. Watch. Here we yo. Check it. Uh. Jump man, jump man, jump man. Call me armor. I just copped the Big Mac and I ain't talking no McDonald's. I just popped the pill, not dope, man, don't feel no Pats about to blast off like a Smith and Wesson Pow! This shit hot as a suntan, love my homies, you know I be bussin' They like cousin. Damn, I'm swinging tars and no discussion You know nothing. this a banger, no concussions, Hey. They pass the mic to my man, Hey. I